fight, the fight You did it in a fight last time Motherfucker, you're addicted to your life You gotta fight Coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable watching a private. You want anywhere near your bracket? No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter. Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Pyongyang, North Korea, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks, to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. And he 
and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Real quick leg kick. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Lee. Telegraph that spinning back fist. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch at the clinch. Two minutes remain in the round. Nice straight punch. What a tricky head kick. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight. So many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Just misses with the right hook. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. So a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Slush right hand is true. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall. I mean, he is. Oh, oh look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even our roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Get a finish here. Brilliant submission defense there. Down into his mouth. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, nice 
work from the bottom, tags him with the punch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Ten seconds remain in round two. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple. This you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Good fun. It's such a fast leg kick. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Three minutes remain in the left. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these, that is how you scream. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice right hand. Got the single collar tie. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. But there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round now, fight schedule for five five minute rounds. Oh, connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So he's 
really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes oh. on. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. What a fight we got going on here. Nice kick. Lands the right hand. Throws the right hand there. Oh! Oh! Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a first bad. the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, being very active. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get a be a party over there? Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carried to the club tonight.